Hello, it's Jeremiah Small from Salon Consulting. This little tip is a best practice for working with JSON set element in FileMaker scripting. If we open up our asset file that we were working on before, which has a deployed script in it. In previous videos, we've pointed out that the deployment process includes a little helper comment here, which contains a FileMaker set JSON element expression. This is very handy for integrating, and I recommend that you follow this simple suggestion here. So I'm gonna put JSON set element down again. It's the function, and then there are the four arguments. One of those arguments is not repeatable. JSON set element allows repeated groupings of arguments for the index, the value, and the type. Also, by the way, empty string, empty JSON object, and undeclared parameter will all achieve the same end result. In this case, I'm writing it there assuming that it's empty and it will have the same functional purpose as just saying, all right, this is a brand new JSON object that I'm declaring. Now, if I, I just bring those other three elements which are allowed to repeat down onto their own line, and you notice I brought the separator that goes between the JSON uh, parameter and the other three down on that line with the other ones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the square brackets around the three that are allowed to repeat with the semicolon outside, just like I've done up above here. You could argue about this. Like th that semicolon is meant to set off the JSON initial JSON parameter from then what would potentially be uh, the groupings of them, and then each one of those should get a terminating semicolon until the last one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just clear all this out, and I'll make each one of these into a local variable so that it so it will validate. And I can set I can say okay, and this will be a valid function. But it's awkward to work with. So a very simple formatting difference is if I actually bring the delimiting semicolon onto each repeated line, and for whatever reason I want to copy and paste them from other things or I want to move them around. If you get in the habit of making your JSON set element lines be formatted starting with the semicolon, then the, th the uh, three repeatable parameters in the square brackets following the semicolon. That's a really good best practice. You'll see that throughout all of our scripting in Carafe, and I highly recommend that you consider doing that when you're working with all the JSON functions in FileMaker. That about wraps it up for this tip and trick. Stay tuned for more best practices and tips and tricks in future videos.